Alright guys, so today I'm here with my IFP 1000. This works on the 5820XL as well, but I'm, I only have my IFP 1000. So, today we are going to be testing to see if there's a backdoor password to this panel, which there is. So let's say uh, you, you're taking over a system with an IFP 1000 or 5820XL. Well, you go into programming. Type in your default password, and it doesn't work. So, and it's not written anywhere on the pa uh, on the door or anything, and you have no way of contacting that other company. So, what you're gonna do is type in two nine one eight six four. And that should bring you into programming. I'll put it up on the, on the screen as well. But that will bring you into programming so you can do whatever you want. See? Module, zone, group. You're in programming. So then you can default it or jump start or do whatever you want. You can change stuff. That is basically like an installer code. So you can do all the functions you need to do like changing a telephone number for monitoring. You do whatever. But yeah, that's... That's that. So yeah, I hope this video helped some of you guys out there. Um, if I would have known this sooner, it would have helped me. But yeah, thanks for watching.